na wamedhamini chama ya jubili kuna wale ambao wanajiita wao ndio wako na chama ya jubili lakini kama mlivyosikia juzi hata walipoenda huko kotini wakidai kuwakilisha chama cha jubili kwa ile kesi iliyowasilishwa na azimio la umoja kuhusu ni nani majority na nani minority kwa bunge walifukuzwa na koti wakili wao alifukuzwa na wakili wetu ndiye anasimamia hii chama hata CMD wametambua sector general wetu ni Kioni party leader Uhuru Kenyatta na ile NEC ambayo ilichaguliwa 2022 March wakati tulifanya NDC na hiyo ni uamuzi wa koti hawa ndio wale walio ofisini kikamilifu hawa wengine wanaenda kukutana huko mstuni hiyo ni shauri yao wanajua chuma yao iko motoni these cases will be determined in due course well we are deliberating we are still going to go back this afternoon we are here to discuss about how we are going to grow our party how we are engaged in the azimio coalition because some of these fellows have been going around saying how we are not going to be in the coalition the speaker of the national assembly was very very clear even as he recognized jubilee as a parliamentary party jubilee has always been a parliamentary party the parliamentary party always has its own whip but they have to work within the framework of either the majority party or the minority party we are part of the minority party by dint of the ruling of the speaker although we still believe we are the majority and that is a case for determination in the high court we are also talking about preparation for our 2027 game as a jubilee as part of the azimio la umoja we have our own challenges which we are deliberating about where the rain started beating us and what we are going to do about that and i'm going to ask the sg to come and enumerate one or two things about the way forward for jubilee party how we are going to roll out and the way we are going to reactivate our networks and our grassroots and jubilee to be the party to watch within the framework of the azimio coalition and he also tell you officially the official party position about the national dialogue uh, report that uh, came out the day before yesterday and just uh, to be clear because mwashimu uh, mwanja is here and he's a minority deputy whip he will also tell you about our position in parliament because for the speaker to purport to elect a whip for the jubilee party that is none of his business mm -hmm. we as a party are the ones who will write to the speaker to tell him who is the whip of jubilee party in the house that pg is going to be called by the party leader and the secretary general and whoever we will agree on as the whip of the jubilee party in parliament will be communicated by the secretary general as per our party constitution asante ni sana sg um jambo la kwanza ni kwamba tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutakuwa na uh, candidates and we are starting to identify candidates for 2027 now so if you are out there and you want to run run towards us quickly <laughs> ya pili <laughs> ni kwamba eh, mara moja tutaenda to our counties to ensure that our those officer officials who left tumeachana na wao we are going to fill in those vacant positions and also ensure that we do uh, member recruitment drive kwa haraka ya tatu ni kwamba kama vile chama amesema wale ambao wako bugeni na wako na haja ya chama wako karibu mm. eh, lakini wajue ya kwamba ni vizuri sisi ambao tunachaguliwa tujue ya kwamba tukichaguliwa we never become officials of the party we remain subjects of the party Eh, la ligine ni mambo ya haya mambo tunasema wacha niongeze moja before i talk about the nandok 
Niliona wabunge wengine na wengine ni wao ambao wako ndani ya jubilee. Kuita vijana wetu muogeki. Muogeki. It is something that we do not know how to condemn. But it is the worst thing that you can do when you have a regime like the one we have at Daruto. Kwa sababu kuita vijana wetu muogeki ni kusema waanze kupigwa risasi. Our boys are not mugeki. Wakati tunatafuta kula tunawaita jeshi, lakini tukifika bunge wanaitwa mugeki. We want them enabled to carry out businesses so that they can be able to, uh, to take care of their livelihoods. Atutaki majina ambayo haina maana. Mugeki na walevi hiyo ndio majina ambayo tumepatiwa hivi karibuni. Lagu la mwisho ni mambo hii ya NADOC ambayo tumekuwa kule uh, ma, tumekaa kwa mi, miezi mitatu pamoja. Na tulisema juzi nataka kurudia hapa. It is very, very immoral of us to think that we can start creating offices for people while people died when they were demonstrating in the streets. Watu wa kuenda mirolongo ama demonstration maadamano kwa sababu ya ofisi fulani. Watu walienda kule kwa sababu ya gharama ya maisha. This document falls short of that issue. Ilikuwa gumu sana kuogea na watu ya KK. Hawakutaka hayo mambo yasugumzwe. Hata mkubwa yao William mwenyewe alisema ya kwamba mambo ya cost of living ni yake aachiwe. Na tunasema ya kwamba wameshidwa na hayo mambo kwa sababu hawakubali tu hawakukubali tu yasugumzie kule. Na la pili ni kwamba sisi wa Kenya sasa tuanze kufikiria vile tutatoa hawa watu kwa sababu wakiendelea kukaa pale maisha yetu inaendelea kuwa magumu. That is very important for us. And there is nothing else we are focusing on. I know kuna watu ambao wanasema mambo ya rifaradam. Na wanataka kuleta mageuzi ya katiba kupitia bunge wakose kwenda kuuliza wa, wa Kenya. Tunasema hivi, wakati ambao unafaa yale mageuzi yote ambao tugetaka yafanywe kwa katiba lazima yapelekwe kwa Kenya. Lakini mzuri asijaribu kupitia jia ya mlango wa nyuma ama kuleta mabadiliko kwa um, katiba yetu kupitia kwa kwa dirisha. La mwisho ni kwamba sisi tuko katika azimio we would remain in azimio as a coalition and like we have said before wetagura cannot exit us from azimio coalition. Hana huo hiyo guvu kamwe. Na yale mambo amejaribu kufanya pale ni mambo ya kuleta tu uh, utatanisha bao hauna maana. Na ni vizuri tujue kwamba jubilee ni chama iko imara wale ambao kuna wengine nasikia wanapaga mikutano huko Mount Kenya awapate leaders with the jubilee akitaka kupaga mpango mkutano um, aina fulani kama ule we will know as uh, members of jubilee ya hale, hale mikutano imepangwa huko waacheni kumhusisha edereni nayo we wish you well but do not carry his name in uh, meetings that he has not uh, sanctioned na tunashukuru nyinyi pia kwa sababu atuko uh, imara those guys who've been walking around there wanatebea tebea na ma, na uogo uogo kutukana uhuru na mambo mengine haina maana haina maana na tu, we have we don't want to dwell on those things we have a clear judgment order from the court that recognizes the people you are seeing here brothers others who did not come hata nyi watu wa media abana daganywa na watu mnaitwa media press conferences tunakibia let me allow Derito to tell us about the, the state of the nation for the last one year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Secretary General. Um, two, three months ago, two months ago, Azimio Coalition issued a scorecard assessing what the regime has done uh, for the time that they have been in office. And we were very uh, straightforward with the analysis because it showed that it has been a grand disaster uh, for the period that this regime has been in office. Since then, things have gotten worse. On inflation, you know that by around July, because of the wrong rains then, inflation had subsided a little bit. But in September, October, it has begun to edge upwards. You also know that uh, interest rates have continued with their up, upward trend, mainly because of the behavior of government. 
two weeks ago, government was in the market borrowing an infrastructure bond at 18% tax-free. That means they are effectively paying around 22%. So you ask yourselves, if government is paying 22% to borrow, will the banks lend to small business or are they going to lend to government? That very high interest rate is what has led to an upsurge in non-performing loans. I'm sure you have all seen the um, FKE, Federation of Kenya Employers, statement from a few days ago showing uh, job losses, I think estimated over 70,000. So the state of the economy has continued um, to get worse. Um, on the question that all of you have been asking, uh, is the nation likely to default? I think um, the only saving grace might come if the IMF does in fact approve uh, a rescue package. Uh, otherwise, you all know that we are very close uh, to a circumstance where default can happen. So, nasema hivi kwa Kiswahili, uchumi umeendelea kuzoroteka. Na niseme, ilikuwa pengine niseme ni aibu zaidi kwa sababu wenzetu kutoka upande wa serikali hawakuweza na hawakukubali kusikiza mashauri ya azimio kuhusu jinsi ya kuimarisha uchumi. Kwa hivyo gharama ya maisha imeendelea inaendelea kuzidi. E, riba yani interest rates ambazo wanabiashara wanako e, ya maisha ama gharama ya maisha imeendelea kuzidi uchumi umeendelea kuzoroteka uh, nimalizia hapo kwa kusema ingefaa zaidi kama wenzetu walikubali kusikiza ushauri wa wakenya wengine kuhusu jinsi wangeweza kuimarisha uchumi lakini kwa sababu wamekataa kwa sababu wamekataa na ni ukweli kwamba zaidi wanakataa kwa sababu yale mambo yanahusu gharama ya maisha utakuta kwamba wakuu wa serikali wanapata hela hapo yani wanajifanya kwamba wanataka kurudisha gharama ya maisha chini kwa hivyo wanajipatia contract ya kulete mafuta vano G2G ngao wengine wakasema kwa mtandao gangster to gangster ukweli ni kwamba haikuwa na faida kwa wakenya wanajipatia ma contract ya kulete eh, you know vyakula edible oils grains ikiwa hiyo yote wakitumia KNTC ni njia ya kujitafutia hela na ndio sababu hawataki kusikiza jinsi thabiti ya kurekebisha uchumi wa Wakenya asanteni nataka nimuite mheshimiwa mwenje eh, ambaye deputy whip ili aweze eh, kutuelekeza asante sana bwana mwenje uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Mark Mwenje, MP Mbakasi West, and the Deputy Whip of uh, Azimio. Uh, it's important we clarify the position. Uh, even the ruling that was delivered by the Speaker did not alter Jubilee's position in Azimio. That means that even on the floor of the House, the members of Parliament of Jubilee are still part and parcel of the coalition called Azimio. And therefore, our position on the floor of the House will be as per what was uh, discussed yesterday in the Azimio PG. That is the position that we'll be presenting. And uh, the, the issue of cost of living, we will raise it also on the floor of the House. And therefore, the members of Parliament of Jubilee as well, we shall be following what the coalition of Azimio says. Also, in our, it's our position because we believe the, the issue of parastatals being sold is going to come on the floor. We are also opposed to it because we believe some of these parastatals are key assets owned by the people of Kenya. So our position as Azimio and as Jubilee as well is that we will be opposing the sale of these assets such as KICC, Kenya Pipeline. Let me reiterate that point again, that our standing orders do not anticipate the position of you being in a coalition and being an independent party. You cannot have both ways. So far, that ruling just needs to be read again 
And anybody who reads it will understand that that ruling that cannot remove Jubilee from Azimio. So our position on the floor will be as per directed by Azimio. I think that's all I want to say. Uh, I, want to support, I want to support uh, uh, Honorable Momwenje. In Kirinyaga, I'm the chairman of Jubilee in Kirinyaga. Now, since we are affected, where rice mill, they want to sell it. And Tunasema uh, wa Kirinyaga, and we have refused. Watu wa Kirinyaga, wawezi kubari, mwea rice mill, imekuwa huko. Na mi nataka kuuliza hii sadikari ya ruto. Mwoi alikuwa president. Haku uza parastatos. Kebake, haku uza parastatos. Uhuru, haku uza parastatos. Why you, ruto, kama sadikari ya ina pesa, sema, wanu ya one, utauza kila kitu, hata manyumba yetu. Kwa sababu kama we unataka kuuza mwea rice mail, wamenituma kama chairman wa jubiri. Mwea rice mail tutafanya demonstration. Ini kirinyaga mwea rice mail tukona 45% shares. Sadikari ikona 50%. How can you sit down in Nairobi? Nini wa mabunge? Mimi ni support mwenje. Sapadhari wale wabunge. Hata kama ni wajubiri wale wamepotea njia. I'm going to tell them to resign Warudi kwa watu Na kama munataka kuhuza mwaya rice mail I'll organize demonstration Na mjini mutaona Kirinyaga ni jubiri Uko ground imepandrika Musifikiria ni vile mulikunja Mukatanganya watu Sasa watu wamechoka And they are not ready To sell mwaya rice mail Hata Kenya pipeline Mukiuza munataka kutukontrol Petroli Na Petro iko juu, tunataka irudi nyuma. Na wafanyi kazi, bila koti imesema. It is unconstitutional kukata pesa ya nyumba. Musiripe pesa. Na mimi nemesema kama chama ni wanjubiri. Musiripe pesa. <laughs> Thank you, chairman. Uh, members of the press, my name is Angel Mbuthia. I'm the chairperson of the Youth League of this uh, great party, Jubilee Party. And I want to, to remind young people that tuliambiwa tutawekewa pesa mfukoni, tuliambiwa mpango ni bottom up, but tuli short change. We were short changed. And farasi wawili wakipigana nyasi wanaumia, na sisi ndio tunaumia zaidi, zaidi, zaidi. But what we are saying as a party is that we are going to work with young people moving forward. We are going to embrace the spirit of young people as we've had. We are going to ensure that we have um, membership drives for young people across the country. And ambitious young leaders of this country, please show up and step up because we are, we are going to be running with the Jubilee Party because that will be the party to be. Thank you so much. Yangu si mengi sana, sijui kama ni semina kiswahili kikuyu nini, unajua yote mi najua. Kwaza mi naweza kusema tu, wa Kenya kwa jumla, <laughs> haya mambo ambao munaona kodi, 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 ripeni kodi. Kodi naudwa hii, kodi naudwa hile, kodi naudwa hile. Wa Kenya tumeanza kuona ya kwamba, hii si kodi ya kutusaidia. Hii ni kodi ya siyasa. Na mina tawa kusema mbele ya biongozi hawa ambao wako hapa. Pesa ambazo zinaundwa. Na nini watu wa magazetu muone na muangalia mina juwa munajua kuangalia. Ni pesa za kampeni ya 2027. Kwa zawabu wa Kenya wamejulikana ni watu wakudunulua na pesa. Jua waweke kuda pari yonatakiwa. Ukora huo tumeugundua na hatu taendelea. Na nengwena kwele adwa ito toodwa adwa, adwa ito niyo matuwekaga. Niyo maale ya hile edhiri kari eno. Ati mushono ke, na tushono ke, na ndeho jono ke. Ati tulatu kani hivyo tuwale hile adhiri kari eno. Na adhiri kari eno, neguwe emu hatere hiliye. Magoti ye kogerera, magoti ye kogerera. Sia nona itira adhoma. Atumio omu denya omu denya. Ne madhe na makara mu maibuku. Maodo ni maige. Mwono madho kanitio ni maodo yo. Na niye kila igia na kwe radwa ito. Ni ati ukorori ya muena guo. Ukorori ya mure kuo. Muhano adwari ya aisirairi. Are ya tiga iwa matuwari ya misiri, neyo meto walide. Mudhenye ole ya medili ya jusufu, misiri. Meshi ilagi ya hali ya doe ika gyo newego waga. Nogu wa meto walide ya misiri oena. Tore ya kwa gire nga laguni kwa madhili ya misiri. Ona inyuero uleru ituruwa Mount Kenya deada kumwero. Patikilero uleru delari ugo delari ya. 
ati ni nyumu le tuari ya misiri ya umuri umudi. Menya ni nyumu le tuari le. Mweru tayi misiri ya umudi na kutonya shia machia nyu. Toro hatuwa dhado mwagagi mwagi hota nila. No umudi le kia makila ge kumote idia. Kia makila ge kumuru to kombo ini ushio. Toro ushio ni ukombo mwere tuari le. Nikwara kwa gira maudu maige mwono. No deda kugate akro kuri ya dumarado kiri ye. Puro liyoyo. Ni adwa shio mana tira makiro wa mounti kenya, adwa mounti kenya, adwa mounti kenya. Ni toronye ni idhiyo tula adho kiliye, na toti adho kia rengi. Uda mwe hariri ya ni moko ino kamo enda kala mwikare. Ok. Sir, thank you so much. Today I'm so happy. And I'm so thankful to our party leader for the direction he has given the party. We need to revamp the party. Tunakuja mtaani mashinani, kumake sure tunasha moto ya jubilee. This is the party of the future. Hey, this is the most, the party and carry our hope. We are thankful the president has heeded to our call. He inchi mepele kovibaya sana, na our party leader amesema atakuja. Aturudishie hope, ili tuweze kupangai Kenya, we correct all the mistakes that are happening. You cannot imagine a regime that is saying, wanataa kuuza KICC. Maalisi tumezaliwa tukipuenda kupiga picha hapo KICC. KICC kwa wadi kwa picha ya pesa ya Kenya. Are we going to reprint the money if you are going to privatize KICC? Some of these decisions are twice. What they can think of, ni kuuza Kenya Pipeline Corporation. Ambayo, ikiwa na mtu private, sasa ndo beya mafuta ita skyrocket. Sinikweli? So we cannot, uh, we cannot allow them to be selling this parastatus. A regime can only last for 10 years. But this is our national heritage, and it will last years and years to come for our future generation. So, mina shukuru sana jubilee, and we are coming, mtani. Na mavijana pia mkuje jubilee, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Asante sana, mi naituwa wanja. Itasema vitu mbili tu. Ukitaka kujua government vile hiko, uchunguze vile inatritu watu wachini, waze, watoto, wamama, watu disabled. Hii government imefrustrate hadi watoto. Nilisikia katoto kamoja kakisema government ime tax max zake za KCPE. Mtoto wakipewa max juhi 400, government inampea 300. Surely, Kenya kwanza me frustrate sisi watu wazima, sasa mmendea watoto. Issue two, the day after tomorrow, that of December, ni international day for people with disabilities. Mwishimwande ritu wa meungea kuhusu a grand disaster. Hii grand disaster ime affect sana marginalized people, wale watu wawana source of income, and therefore tunambia Kenya kwanza. Please, you are strong as your weakest link to co-disappointed na nyinyi, And indeed, you are a grand disaster. Asante.